Welcome back to Cabino Games and it's time for a Guardian Siege Battle. It's time for the new season and today we are battling Wick Wick GZ on Siege Battle Legend in the tournament, the young and dangerous. And of course we're coming from the boss hotel. Now before we go into battle, let's go check out the Siege Battle defenses of this Legend Guild, Wick Wick. We got here Towers of the Thessarion, Bastet, and Odin. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Tessa Meta. Yep, we will be testing out these defenses. 8 wins is to 13 losses for this one. Next up, defense from Colossal. 7 wins and 13 losses. CJ Go, 7 wins is to 14 losses. All right, their other tower. Oh wow, 13 wins and eight losses. It's the Thessarian Iris in Savannah. Oh man, 12 wins is the seven losses. Man, I'm telling you, uh, we did feature this defense as our NB5 defense of the month. And yeah, definitely OP. Especially if you build this defense right. Your Iris, you have to put it on you know, uh, artifacts with less damage from wind, the higher the better, just to make sure you aren't able to be lucient, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, technically you can lucient this defense without that artifact, but if you get that artifact with that skill, man, it's gonna be very hard to beat it. Although, there are teams, and we have shown you previous teams how to beat this defense, but generally, you know, it's the builds that count. And of course, Kaki defenses here. That bigger Kaki and Triana. Yep. Five wins, 11 losses. It, the fact that it's a top tier guild and you're winning with those rates, you know, it's really Gucci. <laughs> and yep, here, let's go look at the defenses of the Young and Dangerous guild. It's an LND tower. I like this defense, the Tian Lang together with a Thebe. Yeah, Thebe does damage based on its max HP. Therefore, that HP lead from the Tian Lang is going to make him extra tankier and deal more damage, right? And then here we have a Dark Ryu. Five wins is the seven losses. Man, that's a nice LND tower. GZ on your OP LNDs. And of course, the meta, Kumun, Vigor, and Ethna. Seven wins, six losses. OP, man. Three wins, six losses. If you're building this defense, by the way, yeah, you have to make sure that everyone's on violent. Minimum speed. Plus 160. Very nice. They have a Kumun, Vigor, and Iris Tower. Oh, but with a Shaina, Martina, and that's a Wadam. Yep, very nice light and dark MB4 Tower. Now let's go look at our defenses. We have our very own light and dark tower. We have a Kumun, Vigor, Kraka. A Kumun, Vigor, and Narsha. One win, four losses. A Kumun, Vigor, and Han. Alright. And then we have a Kumun, Vigor, and Rahul. And of course, another Kumun, Vigor, and Han. Yep, alright. Well, those are the defenses. Now, we're just gonna wait for the timer to start ticking and go straight to the action. We got a target on Wick Wick's base and here is Avenger S with a Bulldozer, a Messity and a Rika. Alright, next up we got Dire Blue with the same Bulldozer, a Messity and Rika. Now just make sure you're able to snipe that Iris first and then use your Rika to, you know, Make her slower than the Tessarion. Alright, now we're going to attack this defense. We're going to bring in our Tessarion, Perna. 
and someone to thank this savannah we're gonna bring in our tetra let us show you how this works hopefully it will <laughs> We will be taking the second turn from these guys. Okay, well, we do have the resistance lead. We're gonna Oblivion who? I'm thinking we have to snipe this Iris because she's going to strip and stun. No defense break though because of the resistance lead. We're gonna cleanse the defense break and continue working on the Iris mainly because she provides the heals and at the same time well, she isn't going to stun or anything, I mean strip or anything, but we don't want her healing. Okay, nice well in proc. Alright, and then it's a 3 versus 2 now. Oi, oi, relax, Tessarian. Let's Oblivion the Savannah. No, Oblivion. Well, we don't want the procs coming out of that defense break though. Now I'm thinking you can technically even also go for I dice. The Tessarian. It's just that we do have our Tetra here. Ooh. That's a lot of defense. I mean that's a lot of damage coming from this one. Alright, three versus one. Is this Tessarian gonna be able to solo us? Well he's working on the Tessarian, that's why I'm putting shield on wow violent proc again wow 19,000 damage he's gonna be hitting onto perna nice resistance but that oblivion is not working um i'm gonna protect the perna right or should i wait for i'm thinking let's protect our perna so that yeah for sure he's gonna be able to oblivion the perna right oh but then a revenge Tessarion, yeah he just countered so the better build for this defense is a violent revenge Tessarion very interesting yeah it is what I like about attacking OP girls like quick quick GG Locknut next target is on red 9 and it's a mix of defenses from young and dangerous Mostly Tyrannis together with a Vigor and Kumun. Well, we're gonna bring in our Ciara, Chasun, and Rina to finish this off. Oh, but Coconut is on the attack. Let's see what our guild is here. Oh man, everyone's so fast in attacking. Okay, let's see who's on the attack. We got here Steve with a Galleon, Tiana, and that's a Poseidon. Yeah, I think we're a bit lagging here. Here's Ice Americano with a Kumun Vigor and that's a Savannah. Next up, we got Coconut with a Martina Sharina and that's a Triana. Now here's Dire Blue with a Odin Vigor and that's a Fran. Next up, we got Pete with his very own Fran, Kraka, and Perna. All right, there goes Steve. Oh, there they go. And there goes the base. That was a quickie. We are hitting red six, and it's a base of a Komun Vigor and a Chongpong. Yep, if you have a Komun and a Second Awakened Vigor, just add in an OP and B5 there. It should be good. Let's bring in our Eladriel, Diana, and our Louise. I really like this offense against this defense mainly because there's just so much sustain. You know, you got uh, the HP lead from the Eladriel. At the same time, you do have uh, the Diana. Ooh, you got immunity and shields. You got heals. You got revive. Okay. None, however, it's it is not a 99. It's not like a hundred percent 
win. But to make sure that you do win, you know, just go for the kill on the Chongpong. Because the Chongpong does have the defense break, the reset, you know, the added additional cool times. And at the same time, the attack bar reduction. Oh man. Okay, they're going violent crazy. But that's fine. We're gonna protect our Diana here. Okay. Yep, good thing we put that invincibility. But looking at the attack bars, Kumun is gonna go for who? Diana or Eladriel? Of course, Diana. And Diana again. Oh man. Well, uh, huh. good thing we have Archangel's Mercy. Yeah, I'm thinking if we should. Yeah, because he's gonna get the turn anyway. So it was kind of useless to put uh, the invincibility on our Eladriel there. Nonetheless, let's go work on this Vigor now. Mainly because the Vigor is the one providing the heals and the defense break for this Kumun. Okay. Hi. So thick though. Okay, now we're getting the violent procs, but they are still getting the procs. I mean, at this rate, it's kind of okay, even if the defense is getting the procs because it's also going around, you know what I mean? Not like as if they were the only ones getting the procs. Alright. You see? Two turns every turn. No, three turns every turn. He just got a three turn earlier. Come on, can we get the Diana train off? Man, it's one. Okay, now we're going. But then it's going to be against the Kumun, which means it's gonna glance. Oh man. Yeah, that's the thing with this offense though. It's kind of slow, especially when the Kumun is left. Yeah, you're gonna be glancing like hell. Let's see. A little bit of critical. That was a violent proc. Not a attack bar increase from the critical rates. I mean the critical hits. Come on, man. Yes, so much glancing. I do have 100% on the Diana, right? But while we're killing this Kumun, I would like to shout out to our G G G G G G G unit. And how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. Please do leave a comment. We want to hear from you guys. All right. Yep, it's. Uh, I apologize for the late upload on this video because we have been doing baby G's. Whatchamacallit? Homework. Yeah, we're getting a lot of. They call it, or we call it locally, like asynchronous. You know, something that you do after your online class and it's a lot and she needs help so yep we doing her homework but anyway i hope this finds you in time for your next siege battle this week and finally there goes the kumun all right and of course there goes the base man gg Next target are on Wick Wick, and it's going to be OP defenses, right? We're waiting off cooldown here. Let's see what we got. I'm guessing it's either one of the Thessarian. Oh no! It's a Orion together with a Masha and a Tyrannis. Well, let's go outspeed it with our Fong Yen together with a Wusa and an anti revive in the form of Rocky. Wusa should outspeed that Ryan.
And do we? Okay, we do. Let's go Wish of Immortality now. Harmling Sprank is gonna go. Oh no. Oi, so close. Look at the attack bars. Let's go for a defense break. Heal up. Heal up our Kraka. We got attack bars so we can get the turn. Oh. Oh, come on, Orion. Yeah, uh, we did get the defense break. We could have gotten the turn, but this Orion procced. Yeah, and we weren't able to snipe the Tyrannis. Now, this is going to be kind of hard because the harmless prank is going to keep... Yeah, I'm not afraid of the Tyrannis, but the Tyrannis is more for sustain. Yeah, it's a despair, definitely a despair, Orion. Because then earlier, the Orion stunned our Rocky. That's why you, you weren't able to get the turn. But the procs on this Orion, though. Orion MVP, dude. Man, putting the... I don't know. He, <laughs> it's uh, Neptis in Orion disguise. <laughs> Even able to put all the buffs, uh, debuffs. Oh man, I think this Ryan also has like a 200% resistance or whatever, but... Oh man. This is just crazy. But a really good defense. That's the thing with Orion. The RNG that comes with him. Oh man, GG. Next base, we got here Yellow 10 and here's Lee. With the Luis Tessarion, that's a Camilla. Alright, next up we got LD Nat 5 or no pack. Oh, he bringing in a Olivia together with a Bulldozer and a Lulu. Make sure your Lulu is on a tank build if you're gonna use that team. And of course, Fang Yen, Rina, and Villagerel for Chung. Yeah, I definitely need to explore more teams around the Villagerel. Okay, there goes the base. Next up, let's see, we got here Red 11 from the Young and Dangerous. What will it be? I'm guessing it's a Kumun. Yep, Kumun, Vigor, and Ethna. We're gonna go hit it, but this time we're gonna bring our... Oop, let's go try that again. Olivia, Copper, and Lulu. Yep, it's a two turn or the second turn team. We're gonna let them shake off that anti crit on them. But we're gonna lock down and buff up. Cleanse and put immunity. Can we kill this Ethna? Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, we should definitely wait. Wait for the anti crit. Um, we can give the turn to our copper, right? Because on the next turn, Lulu can cleanse. We're gonna kill the Ethna. All right, fifty-eight thousand through the shield. Cleanse the uh, Olivia. Yeah, because a defense break on Olivia with that Kumon taking the turn is very dangerous. And automatically with the 3 versus 2, this Kumon is going to keep working on the Lulu while we wait for the cooldowns to go off. But again, um, for this offense, you can exchange the Copper with a Bulldozer, you know? Just so it would be easier for you to kill the Ethna and the uh, Kumun. But you may have a harder time. Oi, GZ, LD not 5 or no pack. There goes a 10 win streak. OP. Alright, yeah, as I, as I was saying. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. How to do this. Takes longer. Yes. 
because they do have the speed lead and they also get that additional speed up from that figure and if you haven't built your Lulu build the Lulu I've seen the Lulus in action even in whatchamacallit RTA very useful yeah maybe one of these days I'll show you um, some RTA action too especially with a tally oh yeah by the way good luck on your tally results whatever rank you're aiming for uh, we are currently C3 C2 ish but yeah we've been playing around with different combos and learning to use more our Gianna so yeah we'll see where we can get in the next couple of days I'm guessing G1 will end around 2040 ish Thunder Strike, don't glance. Okay, we got the animation. Wow. That was like three minutes on the commune alone. <laughs> oh man. And there goes the base. Next target, more of Quick Quick, and it's against this Thessarion, Iris, and Savannah. Let's see who's attacking here. We got Granzi with the Okeanos, Verad, and the second Awakened Thrain. Alright, let's go attack here. We're going to bring in a Copper together with our Emesity. Oh, sorry, Bulldozer. Emesity and Belenus. Alright. Should be very interesting. Oop. We got our Guildies on the attack here. Let's see what he brought in. Okay, Pete is bringing in a Bulldozer together with a Rika and a Messity. Let's go attack Locknut here. Let's try that again. A Messity, Belenus, and then our Bulldozer. Make sure you bring these guys on Will. We are going to snipe that Iris first. Marching shot onto the bulldozer, of course. Looking at the attack bars, they're all gonna go before our Belenus does, so. Let's go full power punch onto this Iris. The question is, can we kill? Okay, Gucci. Oh, but the defense break. Ouch! That's very dangerous for the MSCT here. What we're going to do is the Wild Roar so that we can weaken the attack power and defense break. Provokes. No provokes. But we got a stun off. Now Moonlight Flood. Continuous damage. Okay, nice damage. Oi! Yeah, that. Savannah's gonna die from the dot. Get off the beast. We have a defense break on the Tessarion. No stuns. Can we reduce attack bars? Okay. Can we stun? Oi! Yeah, let's go kill the Tessarion. Stun, of course wakes out out of stun. All right, hey, that's a good team that worked pretty good. Yep, thank you for that recommendation from our girl leader, Papa Dragon. Let's see, I'm really interested with this team from Ganzi. We're gonna go check out his monsters here. It's an Okeanos, okay, uh, on Swift. And then you have your Verad, a crit damage build Verad, Violent Will, and of course the second Awakened Thrain, Speed HP HP. Yeah, we're gonna try that team, we're gonna build it, and yeah, test it one of these days, because it works very well as it seems. 
OP. All right, we are hitting Tessarian Bastet and Odin. Here's A with a Kali, Ganymede, and a Lulu. Man, see, Lulu so useful. Anyway, we've already used our Lulu. I don't know. It's a new defense. And I'm thinking, let's go play around with fire so that, you know, we can tank this Tessarian. We have our Rakan here with the HP lead. And I'm thinking, Bastet's going to go. Odin is going to focus on the Camilla, right? And yeah, we can bring in Rakan to tank this Tessarian. But the thing is, we'll need immunity or cleanse against the um, Curse of the Beautiful of the Bastet. So I'm thinking, let's play around with our Fire Panda. I don't know. Because <laughs> then at least we will be able to cleanse, put a defense break on that Tessarian, and then collapse, kill him, and provide heals for the Camilla. I don't know. Let's see if it works. Rakan not on immunity. Ay, ay, ay. The violent proc. Ouch. That's. Oh, man. How do you even beat that? <laughs> two turns. Oh, two turns for everyone. As usual. <laughs> oh, man. Can we come back from this? I don't think so because. Yeah, two turns every turn. Uh huh. Yeah, I want to kill this this Sarian. Oh man. Wow, look at the damage from that Thessarian though. Oh man, that was a bad start. Yeah, better on immunity for sure. Yeah, because Merakon is built for anti-molong. <laughs> gee, gee. <laughs> Here comes that Tianlang Thebe together with a Jean. We still have our Bulwark, Emilia, and Skogul here. Just to make sure, I'm thinking, should we bring in a Molong? No, we'll need Atlas Stone Power. Okay, Vampire Molong in. The Steel Lung's gonna go. Oop, doesn't go for the strip, but that's fine. Okay, Emilia is up. I'm thinking let's cleanse that so we can throw an Atlas Stone. I'm not gonna Forbidden Galder yet. Let's go throw our... Oi! Oh no! Violent Prox of... Oh no! We already cleansed though. Let's heal up. Soul Devour. Stuns. Oh man, this defense has a lot of RNG, but really nice monsters too. There we Ah, oh, looking so good. Oh no, you didn't. Can we come back from this? They're getting the procs. Mm. I'm gonna save the purifying wave. Well, of course he wakes out of stun. Okay, he comes at the stone. Yeah, we have to buff up. Yeah, that's right. Keep hitting onto our score goal here. Because then it's lowering the cooldown on our Atlas Stone. Oh, wow. The Stebe, though. Well, we have to transform and heat ourselves. Can we fierce charge provoke? 
No provoke. Okay, nice revenge. There goes Atlas Stone. Nice Kogul. Oh man, that was scary this Thebe, bro. Yeah, I mean branding, defense break. Eat rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got another defense here. It's a Chi Wu together with a Dark Monkey and Tessarion. Let's go hit Sun Zhang Lao. I'm thinking, yeah, can we outspeed this defense? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's do it. Checking out this Sun Zhang Lao. Yeah, he's gonna decrease defense and stun. Let's go try to cleave it with our Galleon, Frigate, and Lucian. It's going to be dangerous if this Chi Wu is able to cut in. Yeah, but definitely Lucian can kill the Sanzang Lao and pop injure on this Theo. Let's see. Is Frigate faster? Okay, full speed ahead. Time to loot. This is the tricky part. Okay, amputation magic. <laughs> Ui. Oh no. Well, he didn't stun, but... <gasps> Man, did we miss a crit? Yeah, I think we missed one on the Sun Zhang Lao. But that's a really nice defense with the Chibu. OP. We are attacking this Kumon F9 Vigor. And let's play around with the new combo we got. Um, it's a Jamire together with a Gani. And Sian, also known as Blushen. Let's set it up. We're gonna bomb them, and bomb them, and reset them. Man, this is going to be a fun comp. Let's see, where is Gunny though? Alright. Should be very interesting here. But, everyone is on immunity. We're gonna give them the first turn. Let's see if it works. There goes Ethna, goes for the Shatter. Everyone's on immunity. I'm going to reset who? Let's go reset the Ethna so she doesn't steal anything. Plant the bombs. Alright. I'm not going to reset yet. Because we still have Ventilate. And yeah, let's go Thunder Break and reduce attack power nice oh wow three turns on the Ethna. Uh, let's go ventilate so that we can put bombs again that's fine more bombs come on we need three bombs okay nice now we refresh so that's like four lives on the CN. We're going to reset. Well, technically, we don't have to reset, but let's go reset anyway. Ventilate for more bombs. <laughs> and yeah, that's a really nice team. <laughs> that's a fun one. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, okay, let's go try this one. But this time we're bringing in the Laika, Molly, and Helena with a higher crit rate. Let's see. Ethna goes for the Molly. No immunity on Molly. 
that's a good thing the bigger win for the Helena because we don't have our Leica on wheel yet yeah we need a lot of wheel nowadays <laughs> because the procs are just going crazy but that's a really good defense break on the Ethna that's gonna allow our Leica to go for justice snipe that Ethna and prevent Oy. heal block uh, that's fine Yeah, Molly was tanking the Helena though. And we'll need to kill this Komun. Okay, nice defense break. Okay. Can we kill? Yeah, we should have waited for the defense break. Sorb attack bars. Stun. No stun. Oh no. Uh, shields or immunity. Not exactly. Absorb attack bars. Okay, there goes the Komun. And now just the Vigor with a 3 on 1. And it's pretty much a GG. And this is the last of our monster attacks for today. We're going to stand by and wait for the results of this siege battle. But yeah, for sure it's going to be a quick, quick win. And we're going to be getting second place. Alright. Yeah, no way this bigger 3 versus 1. I mean, it's come to that from this. We have a Molly with the heals. Alright, now time to wait for the results and rewards of this siege battle. OP defenses from Wick Wick. Alright, there we have it. And you wanted to see the rewards? Okay, we got crystals and of course your guild points. Now let's go for our SSS trophy box. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we are looking for, say, oh wait, that's a very nice box from Coconut. Yeah, that was a lot of scrolls. Alright, let's go. What do we get? Do we get a light and dark scroll? Nope. Mana and exclusive summoning stones. Alright, well, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching and have a great week ahead. May the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.